my channel, y'all, and I just want y'all to know that the glitch is still alive and well in NBA 2K20. I'm going to skip straight to the point. I'm not one of those YouTubers that take forever to skip to the point, whatever. All right, so first off, you want to load up your my character. Whoever character you want to use, your slasher, your glass cleaner, your playmaker, shot creator, your sharp, whatever, don't matter. Load him up before you start doing the glitch. Once you load him up, quit back out, go to the main menu. Once you get to the main menu, you click create roster. You click official 2K Sports roster. Once you do that, you want to start the quick edit. And then you want to join someone on your friends list. And I'm going to blur out some of the names, you feel me? Because, you feel me? <laughs> you don't want nobody thinking anything. Alright, so who we going to join? Who we going to join? Alright, he in the neighborhood. So we going to join my man's right here because he in the neighborhood. So you just want to join your friend. You can join off an invite, join off a party. It really don't even matter. So once once you do all of that, just wait for it to load up. It's only one extra step you need to do after this compared to the old glitch. But it's funny though, while we right here, I just want to say they actually tried to patch it in this patch so that like when you exit, it forces you to save, but somebody literally found it. <laughs> Not even an hour later, how to fix it. I don't know the name, so I can't toss it out there. But if y'all find out, let me know, and I'll, you know, what I'm saying I'll toss, I'll toss it in the description. All right, now that we here, next thing you want to do, do what you regularly do: go to stats, go to roster, press triangle, and look at that, look at that, look at that. What I just did was I pressed X a few times to get to this thing right here. So now, get to the little when you can actually move up all the stats instead of just one. So now that I did that, what you want to do is, you know, just bring up everything else you want to do. I'm going to bring up all the badges. I'm hot everywhere. I already did that from the before. I already did all this extra stuff, so I don't really got to do it. Tendencies, all that. I already did all that stuff. All right. So what you want to do now is just literally just confirm changes and just back out. Just confirm changes and back out. You know what I'm saying? Just like you used to if you want to check and see if it actually worked. Just go to your 2K card. Look at them badges. Look at them badges. Alright, I'm gonna show you one more time that this is the this is the correct patch. I'm gonna go back to the menu up to history 1.07, you feel me? And you just do that. Only thing you gotta do extra, which some people probably knew about before because you had to do it sometimes before, is uh, change my player appearance. I heard that you can need to do that if you don't have any VC, but me personally, I just run over here, buy like a boost or whatever, and it'll transfer over while I'm in here. Come over here. Welcome to the boost bar. Can I help you decide on anything? Hmm. Just buy the boost. Back out. Yeah, I'll take that. Thanks for your help. You got it. I just don't feel like sitting through too many loading screens. That's why I buy the boost instead of just going to the my play appearance. So once you buy the boost, everything is activated. Literally, do, do whatever you want. It works the same way as before. So if you want to play that part game, you can play that part game. It's going. It's only one game. Remember that. It's only one game. Then you gotta do it again. You feel me? Now, I believe that after that game, you can still quick edit your stuff like you used to be able to. So it shouldn't be too bad. Getting back into another game. But I would not recommend doing this at part because it's not worth having to get off the spot constantly just to do it. I would recommend doing this in my career or wreck if you really want to. I do not think you should do it in a wreck. But if you're desperate and you're taking the L's and you... You just suck. Yeah, to go to wreck. You know what I'm saying? Go to wreck with all your badges. Not saying you're gonna win, but do you? You're your own man. You're your own woman. All right. So we gonna skip all this. And with tip great vision, David. Thank you. And this is what the schedule looks like for the Spurs. Remember, I'm on my glass cleaning lockdown. I'll be facing Steven Adams and the Oklahoma City Thunder. And then on... 
Skip all that. This is Hall of Fame as well. As you can see, everybody's literally a midget besides me. That's why I get them defensive badges. I'm gonna just let him toss to him. There we go. Give me that. Yeah, Hall of Fame intimidator. Uh, what a great memory that Good was. Protector. Trey Heart Young crusher. Is, is now entering that category, Kevin. Yeah. I mean, we Good saw man. that at the end of last year. Uh, his fear All right, whatever. Just hurry up and get it over with. Just about anywhere. Trying to show you that this remarkable. does work. And to that, I will add one Brooke Lopez who has found his way. Well Wide open. <laughs> a brick. We'll talk about him later. We'll do that. And that one gives them a plus five Pull up. Green. Jesus. Okay, that's good. Love people keep shooting green. Outside shooting, really fueling this run. There we go. That's green. Got the wide by Atlanta. Shoots the three. And okay, finally, finally made a shot. I don't know what was happening. You see, I got Hall of Fame. All the, look at the shooting badges. I'm just gonna let it. I'm just gonna let that do the talking. Now I'm only gonna do for the rest of the first quarter because I really don't feel like playing on my glass cleaner. But Jesus Christ. Is it getting cold in here, Kevin? This is, this is a tough one. Crucial that he starts to work a little harder for a higher percentage shot. And it's in there. We gotta get it just a bit, because uh, I ain't really trying this game. I never shoot my glove clean, no matter what, if I got badges or not. And this is a brick fest. This is annoying. They got Hall of Fame clowns. You're seeing all the badges. I can also show you one here. Go to box score. Go to me. You can see all of that. It's still there. Mills looking it over. Back to game. Hooked away. Give me that. Cookies. Fast break for Hawks. And the dunk by Jay. Take oh, pocket. Hawk crusher. Quick first Jay. step. Here's Mills. Downhill. Look, look at the. Just look at him. They all just look at him. 151 left in the first. And the foul called. Fast break Jay. finisher. That's his first foul of the game. And the bonus will go to the free throw line. San Antonio shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And just last season. See, I basically get what I'm trying to say for real. From the free throw line. So those numbers are always going to be positive. Turner's checked in for Atlanta. And San Antonio also making a switch. Ellen Ellis checked in. The Atlanta shooting their seventh free throw attempt here. And they were 75% from the line a season ago. This Hawks team built around youth and probably the most attention getting younger player is Trey Young. What an unbelievable second half to his rookie season. Almost challenging Luka Doncic for the rookie of the year. Uh, Trey Young, an incredible shooter. Plays I, I can't green. <laughs> of confidence. And we'll see how far that confidence can take this young core as they continue to grow under their young coach, Lloyd Pierce. Is double. Back to Bellinelli. And here's Mills from the arc. That shot is off. And Atlanta will come the other way. And the question for Young now can he reach the level Curry hit? I think that question is just completely misplaced. We're going to just try to let Trey Young be the best version of himself. He reminds you of Steph Curry, but those accomplishments are, are, I think, a little bit out of reach, Kevin. Trey Young does have in front of him an unbelievable opportunity here in Atlanta to become and push his potential as far as he wants it to go. They've been sensational on the back. So as you can see, jump shots definitely do matter. And he can't stop because this is the base jump shot for the big man, and apparently I cannot shoot. But anyways, y'all get a gist of it. I'm gonna just let y'all, you know, what I'm saying, do y'all. We got it. It's back. Glitch is back. Everybody needs to know how to do it again, and have fun. Don't get in trouble. Don't get banned out here. Forbes has it in the corner, and they wasted no time getting those three points back. And I like the back and forth here, showing confidence from Rain. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now, it's a shootout. Goes back up. And that one released in time, but no good. It's been all of it.